it's Emily with Miss Anita's Crafts. Today's craft is going to be a wine bottle luminary. We're going to do sort of a, a tissue paper decoupage mosaic look on this. So I'm using a clear uh, glass wine bottle or champagne bottle or whatever you've got where the label comes off easily. Um, you want something that um, if the label is giving you some trouble and it's leaving some gooey residue behind, you can um, put a glove on your hand, pour a little bit of goo gone right there in the center of the glove, kind of rub your gloved hands together, and then all over wherever that sticker was on the bottle, you just sort of rub it around. And then you can take a regular sponge, the abrasive side of a, of a regular sponge and some dish soap and scrub the rest of it off. And it comes off pretty easy. Also, a little bit of magic eraser might get the rest of it off if there's anything left behind. So that's something I've kind of learned by trial and error, but I think it works pretty well. Because we're going to make this into a luminary, and I've got some fun colors here that I want to put on it. Uh, I have some dark green bottles and also some dark blue bottles, which are really pretty for other things, but I want to use a clear bottle for this because I want those colors to really show and I want the overlap to look really cool. And I want to be able to see what those colors look like when they, you know, sort of go um, on top of each other and the light can shine through. So I've already got some circles of tissue paper cut out and how did I get such perfect circles? I did not cut these out by hand, although you could. I find it's a little annoying to hold all the tissue paper still while you're trying to cut them and get a nice shaped circle. And some people just have a hard time cutting circles. I kind of went with some colors that go with the, sort of a fun theme. They're all sort of similar colors, nice and bright, very happy colors, nothing that sort of seems out of place here. I kind of like all these neons. And I don't know if I'm going to do any yellow, but I do have some blue. I'll show you how I cut these though. I just used a scrapbook tool. This is just a circle cutter. And so you don't want to put too many sheets of tissue paper in at one time, but if you have it folded up, you know, I've got maybe six layers or so in here, and you just sort of help it along, shimmy that flat edge into this little puncher, and there you go. Super easy. If you have any, you don't have to use the bigger size like this. I've got a small one that makes a little one-inch circle. I think it'd be kind of cool to, uh, and this is still good, and I save the rest of it. Um, I think it would be kind of cool to have different size circles, but I'm going to have all one size circle on this one and I'm not going to do any yellow. I'm just going to do these right here. I pulled out some other colors, but I won't be using all those. So uh, I will be thinking about how I want to arrange these and I've got some Mod Podge ready to go to apply it. So I'm just using the glossy Mod Podge. Can you use something else besides Mod Podge? Sure, yeah, you could use watered down Elmer's glue, the white Elmer's glue. The only thing about it is it won't have that nice shine like Mod Podge does when it dries because this is the glossy Mod Podge. And so, you know, it dries with a little shine and that's kind of nice. That's what I want to see and it all dries clear. With um, the white Elmer's glue, it kind of tends to dry with a little bit of frostiness and it's not very shiny, so it's kind of dull and frosty. So if that's the look you're okay with, then sure, go ahead. But I like using Mod Podge or just any kind of varnish. So I put in a little cup. I've got a foam brush to apply it to the glass. Now, why use a foam brush as opposed to a regular old brush? Well, because sometimes your regular brushes can have rough bristles. And when we're using something delicate like tissue paper, once that tissue paper gets wet with the Mod Podge glue, it will sort of start to get a little bit weaker. And if we're rubbing it with this rough bristle brush, we could rip our tissue paper. And so I like using a foam brush because then you can just dab it on without putting a whole bunch of goopy glue there on the surface and you're delicately placing these on there without ripping them up. So that's why I like using something soft and gentle like a foam brush. Well, I feel like I have more than enough tissue paper circles cut out to get started. Now, one thing you want to think about, and this is a reason why I kind of picked colors that go well together, where all of these sort of match a certain theme, you know, sort of a neon theme, a brightly colored theme. Um, and you want to think about how they're going to look when they overlap because this is a luminary and the point is it will put some lights inside or maybe set it up against a window and you can see those colors shining really bright. So you probably don't want to combine colors like let's say orange with purple because when those shine together it's not going to look all that great. You can test it out by sort of holding it up to the light and seeing what that's going to look like but an orangey purple kind of makes a brown and maybe not the best color for what you're going for with this theme. So try to overlap colors that will look nice together. And if you don't really care, then just overlap however you want and it doesn't really matter. I think I'm going to start anywhere on this with any color, but you could do a pattern if you wanted to do all of your pinks first and place them around evenly or all of your blues and then come in between with some others. I think I'm just going to start on here anywhere and I'll show you how I do that. All right, so when you go to start putting your glue on here, what kind of makes sense, if you've never done this before, is you'd want to cover the entire bottle with a light layer of glue. 
but you're not going to want to do that because this stuff when it's when it's put on in a in a very light layer which is what we want we don't want to glob the glue on this stuff will dry really fast and so if you do the whole bottle from top to bottom and all around then that glue is going to dry before you get to it and you'll be just applying more glue and so it's kind of a waste of glue so we're going to work in patches we're going to work i'm going to work mine from the bottom up and around and i'm just going to put on enough where i'm going to place my first circle for now okay so cover the whole area you don't want any spots where that circle is not going to be able to flatten out or stick down so bigger than you need it to be but then quickly before it dries stick this in there all right and make sure it's stuck down on all sides and then you can take a little bit of glue on that foam brush and dab it on the whole thing especially at the edges and seal it on okay and this will also not just seals it on because it's seeping through the paper and making sure that there's glue on all parts of it but it's also creating that shiny finish on here so we want that everywhere we want it to be even we don't want it to feel like paper in some spots and shiny in other spots so there's our first one and then just to show you the overlap and how you could do that so i think i'm going to overlap right now a, a green over the blue okay so I'm putting it all over the area where I know it's going to be, and I'm being a little generous, going bigger than the circle just to be sure it's going to fit. Okay, and I'm going to do a little overlap, because that's going to look really cool. It's going to create like a teal color. We've got the green crossing over the blue, and then dab this on to finish it off. And when the whole thing is done, I'm going to put a little bit of fresh glue on there and maybe shake some glitter to shine the whole thing up. I'm going to keep going around with this and overlapping as I, wherever I feel like it needs to be overlapped. And if you want to sh keep a little bit of patch of glass here and there where you still see some of the plain glass, that's fine too. You know, you can kind of see what you like. So just to show what I've got so far, I started doing these clusters and I, I said I wasn't going to do much of a pattern, but then I kind of changed my mind as I got started. And because I like this little cluster of a teal with a green and blue. I just like the way those overlap together in this little center area with all the different shades of blues and teals looks really cool. So I did these little clusters all over. So I did a few of those uh, here and there and I kind of just let that glue go on really thin so that way it dries fast and you can already start to see how it's going to be shining. It gets a little wrinkly as it's sort of wrapping around but it, it will flatten out and there's no air bubbles under here because we went over it and over it and there's glue under it and on the top of it so uh, they're all sealed on really well and I just left a little space in between of course because I'm going to come in with some pink and purple and orange I think I'll do some sort of combo like this where I've got yeah probably these colors overlapping sort of like that maybe in between these clusters so I think that will look pretty cool uh, but you know if you wanted to stick to a theme like this I like that too so all just blues and greens or something like that is kind of cool Okay, so now that the crisscrossing circles are all over and I still have a little bit of the clear glass showing through, but I think, you know, that's all right. You kind of want to see that it's a glass bottle anyways, but I don't want to have every inch of this covered up. Although if you wanted to and you had some other different size circles, maybe come in with some smaller circles. I don't want it to be too busy and I still want to see all those colors on here. And just as I was going around kind of thinking, maybe it does need some yellow, I decided not to because I like the theme that I'm going with here. But you know what would be cool is doing different shades of one color. So like having all blues or all purples or whatever. And you can save tissue paper from Christmas gifts and whatever people wrap up or put into a gift bag and they have all that nice tissue paper sticking out don't throw it away you can save it for crafting and I'm right now I'm just pushing a brushing a little bit of this um, glue all over in little patches and I'm going to use some of this glamour dust which is just a really fine very nice glitter and kind of go from up high and shake it lightly and just let it fall right into that wet glue it'll kind of stick wherever it's tacky so you can kind of see if any of it's fallen off it might need some more glue so I think on this side we'll just brush a little more very thin layer and if you had a spray on adhesive that's even better because then you can make sure the whole thing gets covered but I'm just kind of going around with this kind of quick to make sure I get some sparkles on most of this and then we're going to see how this looks with lights inside all right so these fairy lights are brand new and they came in a little bundle you know they come kind of in this pack here by a 12 pack so they come like this and a little twisty and I just have to untwist them and unravel them all right and then just kind of stuff them inside 
and let them travel all the way down to the bottom. And won't turn it on until they're all inside there. So you can see how cool it's gonna look. So I've got all the lights in there, and I'm about ready to turn it on so you can see how cool it looks, and I'll give it a little spin around. Look at that. The cool thing is because the strand is um, just a little thin wire and then some of it is coated in just a clear plastic. It's so, so cool. Um, so it hides in there. You can't really see the string. You, you end up only seeing really the lights. And because it's on a wire, they spread around and they're sort of all coiled up in there and they'll go all the way to the bottom uh, of the bottle. So you don't have them all stuck in one little corner somewhere because we unravel them. We spread them around and they're just really just glowing all throughout the bottle. And this is just so, so cool. A little easy on off switch here that just hangs out the top. But um, yeah, super, super cool and really easy to do. Mm -hmm.